The testimonial reviews that you can see on this page are being fed by this elemental form. This is sending whatever you add in there to a custom post type that will then complete and connect to some custom field and feed through to a loop grid. It is proper seamless, okay? So the moment someone sends in a comment, it will instantly become visible. Of course, you can modify this to not become instantly visible. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And no, we're not using any third party plugin. This is pure, just advanced custom fields and Elemental Pro and of course, code snippets. How did I do this? Let me first go over the custom post type and the field, and then we'll look at the elemental form and then the snippet that brings it all together. And I'm telling you, this is proper easy to do. We have a custom post type of the, obviously using the advanced custom fields plugin that you can go and get directly from their website. This is just called review. I've kept it consistent with the plural and the singular name and the post type key is review. This is important. Okay, make sure you make a note of that. And when I scroll down in terms of the advanced settings, I basically removed all the other options and I just left custom field selected because the way this is going to work is whatever the person says or fills on in the elemental form, that will become the post title. So I don't need to have a separate one visible there. So that's literally it. That's, that's how simple this is at the moment. Then I went onto the custom fields. And by the way, if it ever feels like I'm assuming you know this, once you've installed it, you would do your post type here and your field group. This field group is only three fields and it applies to the custom post type called review. Make sure you go and select it down there. Otherwise it will apply it to your standard WordPress post. So we have review name, review and review image. So this is using the image field, text and text. Take a note of the name. Now the way I've built this and the code, if you want to show images, the code will work. If you don't want to show images, the code will still work. If you get rid of this field, the code will still work. You don't have to have an image field, but I've put it in the snippet. So if you decide to use it, you can do, but you don't have to. And if you want to add further fields, you could do, because I want to stop here for a moment. I am right now feeding elemental form items fields to a custom post type and custom fields. Just think for a second, I've only done three fields here. What if you want to have 20 fields and as long as you have assigned the name for them, what I'm going to show you next will work. So there are other third party plugins and I'm not knocking them because they do a whole lot more. But if you just wanted like a front end form type of facility inside of your website where someone could submit an article, and all they're going to submit is like a title, the content, maybe some images and some stuff like that. You could use this facility where they complete a form. It could be a password protected form. It might only be a form that's visible for customers because that's what we've done on the learn.websquadron.co.uk. And I'll show you that right at the end in how I am collecting reviews. Let's get onto the code snippet. And yes, 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 it is a big code, but a lot of the power and magic of it is done at the top. Over here is where you add in your post type. So if your post type was testimonials, you would go and pop that in. Again, I've tried to make this easy for you to modify if you ever did. Down here is where you now add in the names for your custom fields. So review underscore name, review underscore review, review underscore image. You could be as scientific as you want about this. I've just kept this simple for me. Now you will notice R underscore name, R underscore review and R underscore image. I'm coming on to that. That is where we will be adding those to the elemental form. And it will all make sense, but just take note of the post type and the field names here. If you do want to use images or not, this code will handle it for you. And if you decide you did want to enter in, say, another field, say you were going to have one for phone number, for instance, you would go and hit a return and just follow the logic that we've got here. In fact, this is probably the most important bit of the entire logic, the bit at the beginning. You don't have to add in a comment, but you could do. Really, really simple and easy to use, okay? But you will also notice over here we have form name and it's review underscore form. So the things I still need to show you are review underscore form and what we have here. Great. Now let's go over to the actual elemental form. Go to content tab and you will notice here that my form name is review underscore form. You don't have to do that, but I would recommend you do that because I found it works absolutely fine if you do. And it still works if you don't, but just do it. Review underscore form. Before we look at the field, I'm going to scroll down to where we have additional options. 
Can you see here the form ID is also review underscore form. If you don't do that, this is not going to work. OK, so I have made sure that the form name and the additional options form ID are both review underscore form. OK, I would probably recommend you do this before you go and modify the code snippet. Now let's have a look at the fields and I only have three on here at the moment. I have review name, I have message and I have an image. If I click into review name, you can put whatever you want here. The label, whatever the details doesn't really matter. It's what you do in the advanced tab. And over here, I've called it R underscore name. Do you remember? I had that in the code snippet. Let's go over to the second field, which is message. Obviously, you would modify this, OK? You would put in a proper description or something. In the advanced tab, this is R underscore review. And when you make any changes, they will feed through to here. So look, if I start typing in P, you can see it adding it at the bottom. And then over here on the final one, we've got image or file upload and in the advanced. And by the way, you can decide on your allowed file types, JPEG, PNG, WebP. Um, don't forget, we've got a code snippet. You know, you can get that from our website in the snippets bundle. You can get totally for free. But when you drop in an image, it will convert your image into WebP. And also there's another code snippet to ensure you don't get duplicates. Again, have a look at that. Because if you start to allow people to submit images, you've got to be a bit careful with how big the images could be and if they are not WebP. And, you, and if it was only going to be like this big, like a picture of a dog and it's like that big on your website, do you really want it to be like 999 kilobytes? Seriously? Anyway, advanced tab, this is called R underscore image. So that code snippet, when you hit send, it will now populate that custom post type. That is how brilliant and easy this is. I'm going to show it to you in action in a moment. If you go to actions after submit, you don't have to do anything here because a lot of people would probably say, right, I bet you've gone and done a bit of like some web hooks and stuff like that. Nope. This is how simple this is. And like I said, if you wanted to collect details because you wanted to populate, say, uh, testimonials like I am, or maybe you want to populate posts like articles, you want people to guest post, but you don't want to have to set them up with a with an, uh, a guest account, editor account, or anything like that, or an author account to be exact. This is a really simple, easy way of doing it. So I'm not going to just show you how brilliant this is, okay? I'm going to go and add in a name. This is working, smiley face like that. And I'm not going to send an image, okay? Imagine the image field wasn't even there. Leave it in the code because you never know when you might want to bring it back. But imagine this wasn't even there. And I go and hit send, okay? Your submission was successful and I'm now going to refresh the page and this is all being done in real time. It's come over. But did you notice the dog has returned? Because I actually forgot to mention this. I have got a dummy image inside of the loop grid. Let me just show you, OK, before anyone goes, you just said you don't have to do an image. I should clarify this, OK? Inside of this template, we have an image field and obviously all of these heading fields and text editor fields. You know how it works with your dynamic tag. You go and select it, you hit the stack, and then you go and pick from your ACF field. In fact, I should show you this, shouldn't I? In case some of you aren't used to ACF fields. Let me just get rid of that for a moment. If I was to just do that, so I've dropped in an image field, you would then go and click your dynamic tag. You would scroll down to ACF image field. You click the spanner or the wrench, and then I'm going to pick review image because that's the field we're pulling through. Add a fallback image. So in this scenario, I'm going to go and add the picture of the dog again. OK, so that's why you got the dog. But if you did not have a fallback image, it would not work. In fact, I might as well just show you that it does definitely work. OK, because I know some of you are going to accuse me of not working. So there you go. I've now set it as that save and back. So as you can see, this is working. Bob has come through with no image. In fact, we didn't even have an image here. What happens if I go and do it and this time I do add an image? Jane, here I am. Let's select an image. And obviously you could upload, hit send. It will then say your submission was successful. And then I'm going to refresh the page. And again, I'm doing this in real time. And the only reason you're seeing the Elemental logo is because I'm in the edit screen. But look, the image has come through. Here I am, Jane. So this is now feeding through. And if I was to go over to my WordPress admin, which is over here. And if I go to review and go to all review, you can see Jane and Bob. And if I was to go in here, edit, I could go in. And if I was to go back out and go to Bob, for instance, I could go and add in a separate image because this is just custom fields. But that code snippet 
is allowing me to get testimonials almost in real time. And this is just a loop grid. You go to query, it's using the review as a source. I mean, if you understand loop grids and dynamic fields and advanced custom field, and the fact that you could do this with other third party tools as well. And again, I am not knocking them because they offer so much more. But if this is all you wanted, why do you need to go and install another third party plugin? And if I show you where I'm using this on our actual learnwebsquadron.co.uk website, once you've logged in on the courses page, this becomes visible. If you go to the courses page and you haven't logged in, this is invisible. So this is using the elemental display conditions, which says the user role must be a customer. Therefore you must have logged in. And what would happen is you would go here, pop in your name and add a review and hit submit. Cause I literally say, please leave a review. I haven't got any labels, kill me. I know, so what, I haven't got labels, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And once you've done that, if I go over to the actual homepage and we scroll down, I've got our real reviews from course customers. I could have worded that a bit better. So when anyone is now adding in a review, it feeds through onto this page and I've added in a template and an alternate template using the loop grid for every third post, which is why you get these different colors, but they just feed through. I didn't do it with images because I just wanted to keep it very clean, but I could have done it with images, but the power is there for you to receive items or whatever you want. And it feeds through to a custom post type. Just think of the power and the options this gives you. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I love to kick ass. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain.